They're portraits of brutality that gripped a nation and launched a global movement. Hands up! Don't shoot! Crying moms whose sons' lives were cut short. I just want answers from the police department. For people of color, these stories are especially jarring and have compelled many to action, including award-winning playwright and actress Anna DeVere Smith. Hello? You may know her from film and TV. The world's away, Cleo! But she spent most of her life on stage, becoming real-life characters who've experienced major events. In her one-woman shows, she tackles issues like the race riots in Los Angeles. One of the things that everybody is talking about is why did it take 56 baton blows? Now she's zeroing in on the criminal justice system. What is the number one civil rights issue of the day? It is impossible to talk about the criminal justice system without talking about education. In her provocative new film, Notes from the Field, Anna sounds the alarm on those caught in the nation's so-called school-to-prison pipeline. I can't wait for the leaders to make it better. We have to make it better. Too often, kids who are poor get kicked out of school, and when you're out of school, you're in trouble, and they end up in juvenile hall and then from there into these cycles of prisons and incarceration. And the pipeline meaning they're kicked out of school and, and before you the, know it... The pipeline, right. She discovered that those kids are often students of color and stunningly black students are suspended and expelled at rates three times higher than white students. The numbers are alarming. A black public school student is suspended every four seconds of the school day, with a black child being arrested every 68 seconds. So Anna took her cameras and her outrage across the country, interviewing 250 people on their experiences with education and the criminal justice system. Hey, Tells. Like Tells Proctor a former inmate who faced life in prison for crimes related to drug addiction. I got to about the eighth grade. Why'd you leave? They just kicked me out. Yeah, I thought about Malcolm X. And newsmakers oh, like Bree Newsom, who boldly took down the Confederate flag at the South Carolina State House and was put under arrest. Even if I didn't make it down, the, the, the statement would still, you know, be made. You are in the legacy and the mantle of Thurgood Marshall. Anna, in her remarkable way, sliding into the personas of 18 of those real-life people. Could you tell us exactly what happened from, from, from what you saw? Like Kevin Moore, who used his phone to film the brutal arrest of Freddie Gray, a 25-year-old black man who fell into a coma while in police custody in Baltimore. They came to pull me up like, dude, they're tasing him, they're tasing him like, woo! By then, they had him all bent up. He was face down on his stomach. He was handcuffed, and they had the heels of his feet almost to his back. And you could see the pain in the man's face. Freddie Gray would die a week later. Was he shocked by the impact that the video had? I don't think that he knew what impact that video was going to have. Man, I just feel like uh, we need to record it. You know what I'm saying? We need to get this word out that this thing it's is, history, is happening. Of course, it's history. This is the only weapon that we have that, that's actually... You feel the camera's the only weapon we have. Yeah, the camera is the only thing that we have that can actually protect us that's not illegal. During the eulogy at Gray's funeral, To God be the glory. Pastor Jamal Harrison Bryant gives a rousing call to action. This is not the time for us to be walking around with our pants hanging down, passed out behind. This is not the time for no respect for our history and our legacy. One Anna mirrors in the film. Get your blood self up and change this city. The film also shining a light on the harsh reality of police brutality against students of color. Like in this South Carolina high school where a resource officer is seen violently grabbing and tossing a student to the floor. Being thrown across the room because she won't put away her cell phone. These violent acts against citizens and to me disturbingly against children because they're perceived as being out of control. 18-year-old Naya Kinney shot the video on her cell phone. I could not believe this was going on. Is, is nobody going to help her? Somebody record this? Put it on Snapchat? Authorities later arrested and charged Naya with disturbing school. She was later released. Has the cell phone been a game changer? The cell phone is a huge game changer. It is making real for people who don't believe it that some Americans are victim to 
harassment. But other students sent to prison continued to remain there. According to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, more than 56% of those incarcerated are either black or Hispanic. And nearly 70% of inmates never received a high school diploma. Inmates like Denise Dotson, who's been in prison for more than two decades. My former boyfriend, because we wasn't together at the time, uh, shot and killed a guy who tried to rape me. Well, they didn't consider it accomplice. I got the same charge as he did, first degree murder. As I sat there, her calm thoughtfulness kind of made me feel like I was sitting with a guru. I guess I can say that I just wasn't connected to everything because I wasn't given enough information to know that we all are connected somehow to every living, breathing thing. She said, you know, I'm here for first degree murder. And I said, well, do you think that's fair? She started to cry. And she said, I think it's fair. You're talking about somebody's life. The film ultimately ends on a note of hope and redemption with words of wisdom from a civil rights titan, Congressman John Lewis. Like Dr. King say, we out to redeem the soul of America. We first had to redeem ourselves. How did that interview and that story affect you? It, Major, John Lewis is evidence of grace in the world. Hold on. Mm. Never give up. I get to use that beautiful language of John Lewis to say to my audience, never give in, never lose faith, keep the faith. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts in New York. Our thanks to Deborah. Notes from the Field airs Saturday night on HBO. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.